Hallelujah. Blessings to you, brothers and sisters. Blessings to you. This is your evangelist, Brother Ramon. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I, I want to talk about something. Listen, listen, hear me. The world and everything in it is transpiring. Things are moving at a rapid rate, right? You see that the political systems, you see that uh, uh, the money, you see that the economics, the economy, everything is shifting. Everything is uh, moving to a place of uh, temporariness. You know, everything is temporary. Life has always been temporary. You know, none of us are meant to be here forever. And I thank the Lord for that. But I want you to understand that there is folly. Uh, when you try to have or you try to gain things of this life that is temporary and when I say gain things I want you to understand that there is so much folly even in the wisdom of man and man's wisdom is nothing to God but there are so many that believe that they have all the understanding there are so many that believe that they have all the wisdom knowledge and understanding but there is no greater wisdom there is no greater knowledge. There is no greater understanding than what God gives. Amen. And I want you to understand this in this short devotional slash study. That I want you to go back and, and do your own due diligence. Do your own research and see what I'm saying to be true. Please go back and read the scriptures and get this understanding here. Yeah. So I'm coming out of the book of Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 1. Everything is futile. Everything is futile. Everything is futile. So the words of the teacher of the son of David, the king of Jerusalem, absolute futile, says the teacher, absolute futile. Everything is futile. What does a person gain for all his efforts that he labors at under, under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets, painting in her painted a hurricane back into the places where it rains. Gusting to the south, turning to the north, and turning, turning, goes the wind. And the wind returns in its cycle. All the streams flow to the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the places where the streams flow, they will flow again. All things are worse, more than anyone can say. The eyes is not satisfied by seeing or the ears filled with hearing. What has been, it was with, what has been, it what will be. And what has been is done and what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. Can anyone say about anything, look, this is new, or it has already existed in the ages before us. There is no remembrance of those who came before, of those who will come after, and there will also be no remembrance by those who follow them. So you see that there will be no remembrance. So many people are looking so far off, and so the, 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 the wise of the wise that thought they were wise in the times of old had died on, and no one will remember them. See, no one will, will remember you, yes, you because you say you're wise. Yes, you may say that you get this answer and that answer, and maybe you can possibly, I say possibly loosely, see things in the near future, and you would say, thus says the Lord, or you would say this, that, and the third. Or, God told me, or this, that, and the third told me, or this angel told me. But you must remember the things that you say out of your mouth, you shall be held accountable. But for some odd reason, this world, men believe in the wisdom of men, but yet we don't hold on to the knowledge and wisdom of God, my Lord. There's lamentations of wisdom. Listen to this. I, the teacher, have been, in verse 12, I, the teacher, have been kingdom over Israel in Jerusalem and applied my mind to examine and to explore through the wisdom, through wisdom, all that is done under the heaven. You see that? God has given people this this miserable task to keep them occupied. I have seen all the things that are done under the sun and have found everything to be futile. Perishment of the wind, pursuit of the wind. What is crooked cannot be straightened and what is lacking cannot be counted. I'm gonna say it again, he says, I said to myself, see I have assumed wisdom far beyond all those who were, who were over Jerusalem before me and my mind has thoroughly
grasp the wisdom and knowledge. I applied my mind to know the wisdom and knowledge, madness and folly. I learned that this is too a pursuit of the wind. So he's saying that as I try to continue to look for the wisdom of the world, it is like pursuing the wind. You will constantly, constantly go on and on and on and on, try to search for this wisdom and that wisdom and this and that and that and that and this. It's like an endless supply of nothingness, folly. But see, godly wisdom is the pursuit of all happiness. There is godly wisdom that when I pray, I ask the Lord, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Father, Lord, give me the wisdom. Give me your wisdom that surpasses all understanding. Are you hearing me? See, what are you searching for? I'm going to end this video with this. What are you searching for? See, my brother understood that the Psalms of David, the king of Jerusalem, he understood that he was searching for wisdom in the world and it all came back to be folly. But there's nothing new under the sun, which means that there is nothing that changes the fundamental fact of human condition. This does not deny that there are theological understandings and new works or arts or literature but these things are all on the they have already existed that they do not deliver humanity from this bondage of death so all these things there is nothing new under the sun so when you see man say that look at I can do this or this is going on and that is going on do not be caught off of the man's wisdom but hold dear to the wisdom of God because everything that is transpiring in the world now must come to pass. But be still and know that he is Elohim. Be still and know that he is God. Because the end, yes, I said it, the end. The scripture says that the end is still not yet. So be blessed, be encouraged. I want to make this video long. King coming. God bless you. Shalom. Share the video.